Hey guys, I'm Jessie, we're back at Animal Wonders, and today I want to talk to you about, like, coverings of the body. Our first model is Lokita, the Chinese water dragon, and uh, she is going to share that she ha is covered in scales. She's a reptile, and when she sheds, she sheds in pieces, so she gets like a big chunk that comes off of her head, chunks that come off of her leg, her tail shed like, she actually, I don't know if you can see this line, but she shed her tail from here to right there. And then the rest of this tail has not shed off yet, so it's a little bit yellower, I guess. Um, but I do have, her back skin that came off. Oh, I turned it around. It goes like this, actually. Um, and then just recently came off, and it's really awesome because it has these spikes still intact in there. So lizards, like Lakita, shed in pieces. They shed their scale in pieces. So here's another reptile, also co covered in scales. Um, this is a rubber boa. Her name is Serpentina, Tina for short. And this is her shed. She does not shed off in chunks or pieces like a lizard would. Snakes tend to shed in one whole piece. They have to have the correct humidity to do that as well. So if you have a snake or you've seen a snake that's shedding in pieces, you know that their humidity is not quite right and they need some more water in there or other things to help them shed out kind of like taking a sock off, it turns inside out. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and then there's other kinds of animals that are not covered in scales, they're covered in feathers. So this is Ginger, the green cheek conure. They also are going to get rid of their body coverings. It's their tail feather, they sh molt these out, shed, molt, um, these out to get new ones so that they can fly better and keep warm and keep the um, rain water out of them. So. These guys do it one at a time. When it comes back, it's in a case, a casing, and then they have to groom off, and then it becomes a beautiful feather, just like this. And then we have animals like invertebrates that have an exoskeleton. This is Fluffy, the Chilean rose-haired tarantula, and this is her body covering. This is her exoskeleton. This is what she molded out. It looks like another tarantula, but it's actually just a smaller body casing than what she needed to grow into. So she flipped on her back, pulled herself out of this crazy thing, and had a brand new one underneath, just slightly bigger. And then there's animals that are covered in fur, like Chili Pepper, the Patagonian caviar Mara. He is covered in this crazy covering of just fur and it actually comes out super easy and that's a nice defense if a predator tries to grab him it might just slip off keeps him warm and also keeps him cool and it keeps him dry as well it's just another really cool animal body covering so body coverings can come in all different shapes and sizes and colors and textures but each one of them is a special adaptation to help that animal survive in their specific environment. Animals are pretty amazing and so is nature. If you guys love nature and animals and want to learn more about it, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Animal Wonders Montana. Go on an adventure with us every week. If you have questions or comments, want to learn something new, or just want to say hi, you can find me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. Thanks guys, have a good week. Hey guys, I'm so excited to be doing this episode. This is going to be all about how Animal Wonders got started. I love what I do and talking about it makes me feel all kinds of happy.